Man, you got me out of nature early in the morning, man. <laughs> this ain't what I do. Hey, this is usually bacon, eggs, and sausages. Sausages. And, <laughs> and coffee. But I will have my Ovaltine. You know, don't, don't think bad of it. I have to be a cup of Ovaltine. <laughs> And what were you saying about this particular plant, man, in the hanging process? Uh, single stem. <coughs> this uh, it's called single stem. It's made of it's growing up. It's a one main single stem. You look at this one. It's, it's the tallest one, you can see. But the main stem that goes up the center. Yeah. Is the one you want to grow. All the branches that come off the side and the suckers, you want to you want to cut them off. Like this, this is a sucker that kind of got away. Yeah. yeah. Show you what it looks like. Your tomato plant goes straight up. You have a lateral leaf, uh, lateral leaf branch, and then in between you have this growth right there, like your arm. Yeah. That's called a sucker. And that sucker will eventually grow out and grow to be just a whole another tomato plant like this one. Yeah. There's a uh, sucker growing out right here, so this is actually one that kind of got away from me, but I'll let it go anyway, and now I'll end up putting another uh, string on and stringing it straight up. Man, it seems like you know each individual stem, homie. Yeah. Like you grew up with them, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? These, these kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of these though, what I'll do, I'll let some of the suckers grow, and then I'll cut them off after the fruit, or where the fruit grow. So it'll just stay just fruit on that branch. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you say fruit, tomatoes are uh, fruit, huh? Tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was new knowledge to me when somebody broke that to me. Struggling because I probably pulled this up like I did. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> it's so it's so hot out here. I mean, I wasn't uh, watering because uh, the chill I used, I thought it was going to be like it, like it is in Belmont. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that material is it hasn't matured enough. The wood usually takes like a year. Yeah, yeah. To mature before it's ready to be, uh, wait, 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 wait. Wood got to mature a year, like after you put it on. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. I don't have to water. Yeah. But that wood takes a while to break down to become like season where it's kind of spongy. Yeah. The water. So, uh, the material that I use, the most that I use is actually still breaking down so it's not all the way ready yet. Yeah. So it won't have the effect that I needed to. So I'm actually going to water these to kind of blow them up and season them. And then in a couple months, they're actually ready because. The material I let it sit for almost like six, seven months before I put it in here. Oh, okay, okay, That's okay. Experiment, a variation of the hue process. Cause yeah. See what would happen if I did it with mulch and it would actually be faster. And uh, to build my beach uh, garden that I did, I used mulch in there and did it that way. Okay. I haven't put any water out there. I don't have to water it off. Oh, okay. So let's stand alone. Even the boxes, the, the, the mobile boxes up off the ground that drain, that one still don't have to take uh, much water. I can still get, get by maybe, maybe once a week of water. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it, but it's going, before I even started watering, it was already going full water now. 
Yeah. A watermelon takes a lot of water to grow, so it's going to show you how. Man, I, I never thought about that. Man, so in a way, man, this is silly of me to think this and why I didn't think this at first. The watermelon is, is really the water that you put in there. Yeah. Man, dog. How I get this, how I get this age, how I get this age and not really put two and two together. Not, if you're not actually in it, you're not actually doing it. Yeah. You never know. But man, for some odd reason, and see, that's a, that goes back to, 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 to what I was saying before when I tell you about definition of what people think. You know what I mean? And you just never know. And then until you get in it, you start realizing the knowledge. Then you, then you start realizing how you got misled. I've been misled. You know what I mean? Because, so, man, even though that sounds simple, what you just said, it, you know, elementary. But think about it. We think for some reason that the seed make the water, and <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, or even if we bite into a carrot or celery and the juice come out of it, that's the water that was being held. Everything needs water. Water is the source of life. So peep game. When they say we 90% water is us, we need it too. You can go. You go a month without eating. How long do you think you gonna go without water? Can't last two days without water. Three days and it's a wrap. So, and you think the state of the water, the way it is right now, we're running out of water in the world. What's, you, what's the next generation you gonna do? It's gonna be real water wars going on. Water's gonna be water for the for the for the water like it is for oil. Even worse. Everybody has to have water. You don't necessarily have to have oil and gasoline, you know. Life itself is dependent on water. That's another angle talking about what people don't think. What information we take for granted are these boxes. A lot of people see the box and just think it's a process of just doing the box. You got a garden, there's more to it. The box is actually technology. The box is actually a system. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's more to it than that. Anybody can build a box, but understand the principles and how it works. And then actually, technique of planting, you know, with the, this is one method of high intensity uh, growing, high intensity space. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> we also use the food forest, you know, where we can grow more food in, in a higher, uh, higher growth density inside of a smaller space, like you would a person which would be Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people like, man, I just want to fill me a box, you know, they just see, they just see wood and just think it's some dirt. Hey man, say yeah, like going in the backyard. You know what, man? This is so. You know, I, I don't even think I ever told you this, but my grandfather in uh, Jackson, Mississippi, had his own farm, right? And we used to get his uh, when I was like eight years old. We get his. Uh, he had like a. 1940 something Ford pickup truck. He loaded it with vegetables and go around the city selling them. That's how he made his money. That's what needs to come back, man. That's what I'm trying to bring back. I'm gonna be that old man out there on the side of the road, pickup truck with my canopy. You know what I mean? A truck full of watermelon and produce. But man, this is bringing me back to my roots, you know what I mean? I finally got over to the house and cut the grass and watered everything. I know uh, a day or so ago, I told Austin, I was like, look, I ain't gonna, you ain't gonna see me in a couple days, but make sure you water the flies and the plants. Yeah. So we 
we're gonna team up with him and he'll uh, and go check out his farm and his operation. And he'll help me better understand the process of going from, you know, Gordon to farmer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like more like an educational journey and get to see what's going on. It's about black food sovereignty. We're trying to build that up, build our own food independence. If we depended on the opposition to feed us, then we're in a dangerous position. Yeah, yeah. Part of that is being able to feed ourselves. Are you cool? Yeah, 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 yeah. Put that in all this uh, weed fabric because eventually all this is going to be mulched in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sit back on the back. Yo, 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 yo. These are uh, lemon cucumbers or cucumber lemons. So lemon cucumber. So the, uh, there'll be cucumbers that actually look like lemons. Oh, wow. So vine up so you have yellow. Yeah, and, and that's what these are too? Yeah. And then you have the red Malabar spin. So you have the red, the green, and the gold together. Rastafari. Hey, man, but Peep Gang. With them being that colors, does that mean they, they carry a special type of mural or vitamins or? Yeah, different, uh, different vitamins and minerals make different colors. Like and that's show out in your skin too, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you like the, the beta carotene. The yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, those are, those are minerals and stuff that you need. So you want to, and, and I, try, I, I try to get like a lot of red and uh, purple, more dark colored Right. But that seems that, 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 that does that mean that's more vitamin uh, vitamin and rich stuff? Yeah, because it's uh nature gives you color, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nature gives you color, and most of them things are dark with darker pigmentation. Anything white has been metal. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. These are my okra and bed. Uh, well, that's all okra. This is half okra and half bush beans. And those over here would be my pole beans. Come right on, man. So I got them like that to keep it kind of like that. Uh, yeah. So, because when you're growing seeds, you want it to stay moist. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm keeping the moisture trapped in so it'll stay moist and keep it hot in there. That mm, that's why you tap to let it fall, the, the water gently fall back into the... Get it, see? But, uh, that should make them sprout a little faster. Yeah. And then it keeps the word, birds and everybody else from coming in and stealing the beans out. The yeah, 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 yeah. Steven ass birds. They got me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
And I seen some berries on some trees when I walked the trail the other day. They go, they go to <laughs> leave my bees alone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In the heart of the city, huh? Yeah, they got trap houses, we got farm houses. What's your name again, sir? Uh, Ty Simmons, Human Agriculture Cooperative, Utopian Community Grocery Store, and the Family and Friends Store. Yes, sir. You would just give me an explanation well, of everything uh, this that was is called. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hand Center, Hope Park Networking and Diversity Center. Um, what basically what we wanted to bring was a Black Wall Street built with not only other Black businesses here in Fort Wayne, but pull in a network of people to actually, you know. Um, for community engagement, community participation, um, voter registration, just a, like a, a center um, from everyone's day-to-day -day life. Yes, sir, that has just enabled the whole uh, community to be just, just, just the mindset change, the health change, and exactly. different things. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Grocery store, gym shoe store, um, we had a nail salon here, we want to put a youth center in here. Um, it's huge. I'll take y'all through it. Um, it's a huge deal. We're looking for partners. We're looking for other organizations um, to work with us because the whole thing. We know we can't do it all. By yeah. You know, um, we also we also manage 17 acres and we also have a green. So, yes, um, sir. I, I, I'm going through it all with y'all. Hey, I, I'm not. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> garden stuff. Nice. Neat. Manicured. <laughs> I'm kind of gorilla. Uh, uh, it's about four of us. Yes, sir. 15 acres, so you're gonna see, you gonna see weeds, you gonna see every, you gonna see weeds this hot. But I'm gonna go out there and pick them up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. I'm still gonna go get about 30 pounds of can. Come on, man. Yes, sir. I, I do what I can. Come on, man. Networking so much other stuff. So right now, I just, I mean. This grant has taken me away from a lot of stuff, but it allowed me um, my first time having a salary doing this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, allowing me to be able to help other farmers, help other individuals, and other communities throughout the state. Um, so I'm just thankful, you know what I'm saying? But I'm also, I have a mindset that I'm also watching it because I know what they're doing. It's a data graph. I know they're basically trying to get all the data of all the farmers so they can contact each and every one of us individually, divide and conquer. Um, and it's also a way where they can check a couple boxes. Black female. Black yeah, female, yeah, black yeah, female, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Latino, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, socially disadvantaged. So um, I know what it is. You know, but your heart's in the right place, you know what I mean? Definitely. Ours is. Yes, you know sir. But the whole thing is we have to be aware of all that because um, we're going to stop letting them do it for us. We're going to be right in grants. Yes, sir. This, this, was, this is one of the largest grants I've written. I was on the state board, so I actually wrote the grant for the whole state. Part of the, the team that wrote the whole grant for the whole state. Um, $7.45 million, $1.5 million for each region. Um, and basically, each region has their own discretion to need to basically buy produce from other people. Um, our, our region basically said, we want as many socially indigenous black, black or IPOC, however you want to term it, indigenous. You know what I mean? We wanted to make sure we had the most of that, but we also wanted to make sure we worked outside of our because we know how to pay for We work a couple farmers in Wilmington. We work a couple farmers in Gary. You know what I mean? None of you all are in our region, but um, from the beginning, I said it's going to take up more than just my region to help my region. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I okay. Brother, yeah, okay. This is Mr. Ridley. This is the first black firefighter uh, in Fort Wayne. Okay. And his uh, his his daughter-in-law is my uh, my mentor. Uh, basically, she's the, the vice president of uh, Human Agriculture Cooperative. I mean, she's. I mean, I, I, she comes with the yin. I'm the yang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it's dope. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, this is her father-in-law. I mean, so there isn't a lot of. I mean, there's a lot of firsts in Fort Wayne, but it didn't happen until like the 50s and 60s. Yes, sir. Even though the black families came up here from Alabama, you know what I mean. 
and but it, it still was this side of the track, and that side of the track. So it's a whole different mindset that's growing here, and a whole different energy. Well, it, it, we're, we're trying, but it, it's still the typical. It's still the typical different type of people that want to that want to gentrify our community. Yes, and sir. They basically are gatekeepers and and, and and allowing these people to to yeah, do that. Yeah, you know, yeah, allowing yeah. Allowing projects to happen, allowing you know um, our education system in the name of growth, so to speak. In the name of growth, but what it, in reality is in the name of the demise of our community. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The second, we won't be able even to live in our own communities, and it's happening everywhere. Yes, sir. So, Exactly. No, no, not today. Um, uh, well, tonight, tonight we're having a town hall right down the street uh, on uh, 3601 Warsaw from six to nine. We're going to be talking about our community. Um, we're going to feed you, and we're going to give you free produce as well. 3601 Warsaw. All right. See you soon. So basically, this, I mean, I do what I can. It's not too many people with this, this kind of mindset that basically want to discourage a lot of our exploitation, you know, degradation. I, all the Asians. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know all the Asians is in the nation. All the Asians. <laughs> Saying, but it, it, I mean, and most of them want the money grab. And yes, sir. I, yes, sir. Me personally, I mean, I, they've given us the money, and I tell them from the beginning, this is not going to alter what we do. Our concentration is on black people. If we help anybody in our proximity, we cool with that. We don't deny nobody. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? yeah. But our, our main focus is us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and a lot of people don't understand that because most of them focus on dollars. Most, most of them focus on their not for profit. Most of them focus on their their church. Most of them focus on you know their secret society. You know yes, sir. Saying? Yes, sir. You know, or their outright society, fraternity, or sorority. You know what I'm saying? They have so many different loyalties that divides us. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I mean, there's so many. It's so much to the foundation of other you know spiritualities that bring in different people from different spiritualities. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and we get beyond that, you know what I'm saying? Because we every day we gotta worry about racism. You know, and I, I just told I just told a white politician the other day, I said, I said, you don't you don't know about racism. You think everything is a classism. I said, just think about it though. Racism it began classism. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that was the first, that, that's how you created your first class. You know what I'm saying? Or tribalism, however you want to say it, even within our own tribes. You know what I'm saying? You had different hierarchy and different families in the tribe. You might not have the same rights as... Yes, sir. Yes, here. sir. You know what I mean? So it, it, it was, you know, it, don't get me wrong, we're the beginning of everything, but they learn from us and utilize them to manipulate it to, to control us a different way. You know what I'm saying? So their frequency is a lot different. It's, it's way different. You know, their frequency is way different. And, you know, trying to feed, you know, trying to feed in our community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just what I call it. My mission. You know, I talk to the, the religious people. I said, this is my ministry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is my ministry. And helping our people is my ministry. You know, I, I have more years behind me than I do before me. So only thing I can do is give. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so I'll take y'all inside the grocery store, the restaurant. What's your name, brother? Tequila. Nice to meet you, bro. My man, take a drink. So our plan, our plan was, because I've been selling shoes, I haven't worked for anybody more than probably like 100, 400, about, about, about 300 hours, I'm just saying, mm -hmm. in the last 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Because it was basically had become self-sufficient some way. Um, so when I was in college, uh, one of my mentors was like, if I teach you how to um, dip your own incense, sell your own incense, you know, package your own incense, um, uh, you'll never be broke. So I started oils and incense, candles. I mean, I have all, I can do all that. Oils, incense, massage oils, everything. Um, yeah. and, then, and then I figure out later on down the line, that using too much ink, I mean, too much uh, fragrance was not oil. That's not what I wanted to do. So I, I found Medina. All the soap. Like we just put this big 
Oh, okay, excuse me. I love that, that's beautiful. Beautiful so, scent. Oils, incense, and I mean, and wholesale, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll let y'all know. Wholesale, get you a wholesale counter of two bucks. Okay, and you can break them down and make ten dollars. It's been, what the Muslims have been doing for. I mean, actually in Fort Wayne, actually before the uh, Muslims came to Fort Wayne, I was selling to most of the gas stations, right? And then when the, a lot of the, our Muslim population started coming, the, the younger Nation of Islam guys, uh, I started selling to them. So I actually had Nation of Islam, about four grocery stores, three gas stations, all selling our incense mm -hmm. before I started doing Medina. Right? And I had a group of young people, basically every month, I would give them like $100 of incense and tell them, you know, I'm making, it cost me $2, I package them up, so it really cost me about $4. They'll make $10 off the bundle. I say, y'all have the six, just bring me my four. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the whole thing, it's about, it's basically just getting our product out there and actually stimulating, the, actually the, their product. And stimulating the product. When I was 12 years old, I, I yeah, sold yeah, newspaper yeah. subscriptions door to door. So I knew the value of a dollar at an early age, you know what I'm saying? So I always had a dollar, always saved up the dollar. So my friend in college was like, hey, I'm gonna teach you oils and incense, and you'll never be broke again. So when I got back from college, I sold $33,000 worth of incense. Oh, wow. You know, one pack yes, of incense. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So, yes, sir. So then I started expanding out to like soaps. Um, I started doing my own soaps. I was doing, you know, uh, the glycerin soaps. I started doing the oatmeal soaps. I used to do a lot of, I used to do a, a lot of prep stuff. And I got to a point where it was just too much. It was just too overwhelming. So I just started partnering with good companies, getting good product, and basically become a middleman of it. Because, and, and keeping the price down low. Like our, our soap, I sell it for three fifty. dollars Everywhere else, they sell it for 5 bucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying, it, it's people over profits all yeah. day. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's just what we've been doing. Um, and I've also been selling t-shirts. I Actually, um, so another thing I've been doing since I don't want to work for anybody, I work for a company in, um, in California. I went to college in California, San Francisco State, and basically taught me how to print t-shirts, and I'm also a grinder. So I can take anything that you have and actually duplicate it for you. So if you have an old leather jacket that you want, to, want me to duplicate for you, I can get the pattern, I can do all of it. I'm not seamstress, yeah. okay? I'm not sewing nothing, yeah. okay? But I can create you a pattern so you can duplicate it, okay? okay. So I used to make leather jackets and stuff. So I, I've been telling t-shirts, so instead of silk screening myself, right? I bought the wholesale t-shirt companies, right? Got me a good account and I got a good printer and then now I make one color t-shirts about seven, eight bucks, sell them for 20 bucks. Multicolors, probably top notch. Um, I got t-shirts for y'all too. What size do you wear? <laughs> Small. Small. I got some medium, but look, I got small if you need. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a, a five color process. So this probably cost me about $12 a print. And I still sell them for 20 bucks. You know what I mean? These are $25 t-shirts. If, if you have a better quality t-shirt, you can Okay. I just get killed in so I can get the brand out there. I can get it out there. So we're looking for uh to get the shirts printed. Yeah, I got you. We said we don't be here till tomorrow, so what size yeah, what uh what size uh shirt you wear? What size shirt you wear? Oh Lord, sir. I got you. Yeah, appreciate it. Basically, uh, me and my family and my mentor started Utopian Community Grocery Store for my farming. Because I just started farming eight years ago. Yeah. Like, I, I never knew anything about farming. I was just telling them on the way to, to giving the food away. Like, before eight years ago, my plant died in elementary dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's how far Hey, I'm hey, that's where I am now, you know what I mean? So, so you know, so I, it was bad, you know what I'm saying? But I learned through, you know, one of my mentors was hard ass fucking dude from the 
know, Georgia, you know, studied with under, you know, Martin Luther King, just really, really strong black man, you know what I mean? It wouldn't approach it here for me, you know what I'm saying? So I had to find somebody else that was just a little bit more, um, just a little bit more down to earth, kind of, you know, kind of, you know, integrate me into farming. You know, I'm kind of that kind of person. I'm not that. It's so, it's so. Be all militant with me, you know what I'm saying? It just <laughs> is what it is. I know who I am. Till the soul. So, so eventually, I, I got with Mr. Smiley and YouTube University. You know what I'm saying? I learned so much from YouTube, you know what I'm saying? And basically started our youth program our first year within three months of actually learning how to farm. I started a youth program with Urban League. Um, I basically Urban League paid the children, children to farm. And basically I instructed them. We had um, probably one, uh, one of my like most efficient harvests that I've ever had. Uh, it was a, a tenth of an acre, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like thousand pounds of it. You know what I mean? In one summer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole I haven't I haven't I haven't achieved maximized that effort yet. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know? Because the whole thing is every since every since then we've been getting bigger, bigger, bigger. You know what I'm saying? Um I got actually got somebody coming to look at the restaurant, so give me a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think? Can I can I can I walk around? But come on, let's get side.